What up, YouTube? It's D Richard Ortiz123 coming at you guys again with another video. And I'm not gonna lie, I was meaning to start this video about like two hours ago, but I just forgot. But um, as you guys can tell by the title, I'm gonna be buying a manual car without even knowing how to drive it. Um, right now we at the spot, and uh, it's a BMW E90. If you guys know what that is, if not, I'll show you in like a minute or two. But um, yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. I also got me this uh, a Nova 5510 OBD. Um, I didn't have one before, but you know, I'm buying an E90. Usually, I'm a Honda guy, but I want to make sure this is um a good purchase. So, cop this, and uh, yeah, that's it right there. Just waiting on the owner to pull up, so he give me the keys and I do a tour around it. So I just bought the car. Well, it's been like about an hour or so, and uh, I ain't gonna lie to ya, bro. Y'all yeah, yeah, niggas who was telling me that manuals is easy and they're easy to learn. Y'all some fucking liars, bro. This shit has been difficult. I've been stalling. I've been doing all this bullshit, but we're going to make it home. But right now, I'm in Connecticut. I got to get back to New York. And, uh, yeah, when I get to the block, I'm going to take some videos, show you how the car looks and all that. So, yeah. All right, y'all, I'm on the way back from uh, Connecticut. It's about an hour and 40 minutes. So, um, yeah, so far I've stalled, I wanna say at least 10 times. Um, excuse that, that's just the rain, it's raining a lot. And um, yeah, this shit is dead more difficult than I thought it was gonna be, but you know, I'm not tripping over it. The only thing that's bad with this car is the shocks, the front shocks. When I'm like speeding, this shit feels like a boat, bro. Like, this shit goes like this. I'm like, oh, great. But other than that, there's no check engine lights. Uh, there's nothing, bro. There's no misfires. And uh, yeah, so once I get to the black, like I said, I'm gonna show you how the car inside and out. It's extremely clean. Uh, I honestly don't know if I'm gonna keep it or if I'm gonna flip it, cause I got it for a steal. But I don't know, let's see. Stay tuned. All right, guys. This is what I be talking about when I say I'm lazy with the YouTube shit. Um, the last clips y'all seen was on March 4th. Today, I think it's April 23rd or 24th. I think it's the 23rd, but you get my point. Basically, I waited basically almost two months to finish recording this video. Um, but yeah, I'm about to take the car out. I'm in the Accord right now. I'm going to switch cars. I'm going to take it to a spot, and I'm going to show you guys the actual car. All right, guys. So after a month of uh, almost two months of me baiting on the car, showing you guys what it looks like, this is the car. I mean, I showed you guys what it looks like, but not up close and shit. It's an old 7 328 XI, uh, 6 manual or 6 B manual. Um, it's in really good condition. You know, just uh, the only thing that's really wrong with it, like cosmetic wise, is like these little, that's dirt back there. That's not like anything serious. There's a little bit of rock chips on the hood. Um, there's a scratch right here. Uh, the bumper has a little bit of uh, paint peeling off and shit. And uh, right here is uh, another scratch. But other than that, there's no dents. There's no like rust going through the the paint or any of the um, panels or anything like that. It's in really good condition. I was thinking about either wrapping it or um or uh, what's it called, paint correcting it. I was quoted 500 to paint correct it, and uh, I think another 300 to ceramic coat it. I don't know if I'm gonna go that route, if I'm gonna wrap it, or if I'm gonna just leave it like this. But you know, it's a really clean car. Uh, like I said, or like you guys seen earlier, I bought it from Connecticut. So, um, I live in New York City. I'm telling you right now, you're not gonna find a car this clean in New York City. Nah, I'm, I promise you, you're not. Um, when I first got it, and it, it had like some cheap ass bad tint. I put 5% all around. I put like 20 on the windshield. I wish I would've went with the five because it's still kind of clear, but it's whatever. Here's the interior. Interior is mint. Like I said, it's a manual. It doesn't have iDrive, which kind of sucks, but it's cool. And it's a sport package, so it comes with the bucket seats. Uh, 
yeah here i have a bunch of shit because i'm about to uh start working on it i'm about to make another video on like doing maintenance and shit uh it's nothing too major just a couple of uh leaks uh yeah but you know it's clean it has 151 on the dash really clean car let me open the hood for you guys all right so this is what the engine bay looks like uh it's pretty dirty but you know i don't expect it to be mint uh today what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna change the oil oil filter the oil filter housing gasket as well as the uh serpentine belt and the uh pulleys down there uh hopefully it's an easy job i've seen a couple videos and it seemed easy so let's see if i can knock this out in a couple hours but yeah nothing nothing too crazy um i also found out that i have a power steering leak but apparently the the it leaks from this cap like all of these these uh e90s leak from the cap um but i guess i'm leaking somewhere here so i'm gonna check on fcp euro if i could get a new little kit and shit so judging by the title i bought this e90 manual without knowing how to drive it and that is absolutely true um when i bought the car it was my first time ever driving a manual um side note this is all the shit i bought from fcp euro um there's a trunk saying i have bought this car without knowing how to drive manual i didn't take lessons i didn't do any of that this is my first time ever driving a manual and uh, i had to drive it about two two and a half hours from connecticut to new york like you'd expect i stalled a lot um it's definitely harder than what people say it is on youtube and shit especially for a beginner um what i really was having trouble with was um was taking off well that's everybody's trouble taking off because i didn't really know how to um how to like balance it right because you know if you're first right and you try to take off and you lift you let the clutch off too fast you stall or if you don't give it enough gas you stall so that was really my problem i wasn't giving enough gas so it would just stall out um but when i was when we was coming back i was mainly cruising in fifth and sixth and uh, i had no problems with that uh there was one point where there was traffic when i got back to new york and uh, i literally stalled for like 10 minutes everybody had to go around me because i couldn't take off for shit i don't know what the hell was going on at that time but i couldn't take off for anything um but yeah i learned how to drive manual in about like i want to say a week but that's me going slow because i was driving another car so i had this car um it was just like you know in the back of my mind you know like one hour here one hour there i'd take a lesson in a quiet block and shit um you know and eventually when i got more comfortable i started taking it to work and taking it to other places and shit uh right now i feel like i'm good driving it i haven't stalled in a long time i'd probably say like three four weeks almost a month it was really just the first two weeks of me having the cars when i was really stalling but i'm good now the only thing that i'm still having trouble with is hills um i'm working on how to like you know how to like balance it because i use the e-brake when i'm on the hill and then i just i put it to like 1500 2000 rpm and then i just i basically dumped the clutch um i don't know if that's the best way to do it but that's the way i've been doing it i want to make it smoother because um you know when i do that i just like shoot off uh i could take a lesson and fuck up somebody else's car or I could just keep learning how to do it on this. I've been thinking about just taking a lesson so I can actually learn how to do it the right way. But, you know, that's gonna hit, That's neither here nor there. Here's another look at the car. Absolutely beautiful. I wanted the E90 for the longest and I finally got it. So, um, yeah, pretty happy with my purchase. I do plan on restoring the headlights. I'm going to keep it as stock as I possibly can. I'm not going to lower it. I had a TSX that I lowered and uh, it just gave me a lot of problems and shit. Uh, I was thinking about buying M wheels, but I don't know. I might, not too sure. What I do definitely plan on doing is um, taking off the muffler and uh, resonator. Maybe the, the, the secondary cats, but I'm not too sure. I don't know. I just wanted to sound nice and, uh, you know, I'm not trying to be obnoxious, but at the same time, you know, just have a little fun with it. But uh, every time I look at the car from the front, it's just these fucking headlights and the fog lights. That's really an eyesore. Um, I already watched the video on how to take off the um, the haze permanently. It's not that bad. Um, it could be way worse. You know, 
I just need some sandpaper and uh, buffing wheel and I should be good to go. I might do that, I don't know, probably two, three weeks from now, who knows. Uh, but in the month and a half that I've had this car, almost two months, it's been really reliable. Um, it has been leaking oil, uh, but I knew that when I bought the car from the oil filter housing gasket and the oil pan gasket. Uh, I'm about to do the oil filter housing right now. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do the oil pan. I think I'm going to just take that to a shop because I allegedly have to like drop the subframe and all that. I'm not about to do all that. Um, also, the uh, check engine light is on. It's a P0400 code, I think, or P0420. Uh, basically, it's either the catalytic converters or the O2 sensor. I don't know. I haven't taken it to a shop. I might take it to a shop one of these days. I'm not really in a rush. Um, I drive it here and there. I'm not really dailying it right now, um, especially with the oil leak. But I do plan on getting those taken care of pretty soon. Um, but yeah, guys, that's the end of this video. Uh, sorry it took me so long to finally finish it. I'm really just lazy when it comes to this YouTube shit, but I don't know. Uh, I'm going to try to get back into it. I'm about to make another video right now. It's not really a tutorial on how to do all this shit, but I'm just showing you guys me doing it. Uh, like I said, I'm going to change the oil, oil filter housing gasket, uh, the belt tensioner, uh, another pulley, I think the idler pulley. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So Steve Richard Ortiz, one, two, three. I'm signing off, guys. Peace.